Hi, right, it's Andrew again. I'm going to do another tutorial today. Um, today's tutorial is going to be on screenshot or on taking a screenshot on the phone. There's going to be three different ways you can do that. Well, really two. And one is going to be if you have a rooted phone, you can do it on the device itself. But if you do not, the only way to do it is through a computer. Um, some phones actually do support the rooted apps without having root. For example, the originally when the Epic and the Evo were released on Sprint, they both supported uh, screenshots without having to acquire root for apps like uh, uh, DrawCap and um, and uh, ShootMe. Uh, on my phone, there's an example of a screenshot app. You can actually use that one. Or, but if you look at the description, it says only rooted phones are supported, which kind of sucks. But another way to do it is if you are running CyanogenMod or another uh, a custom ROM that has it built in, on here you can actually just hold down the power button and re um, screenshot is an option on CyanogenMod ROMs. Now, if you don't have a rooted phone, you can still take screenshots, but the requirements is you'll have to have the phone connected to your computer via USB, and you'll have to have debugging enabled on the phone. In order to do that, you just open up Settings, and you go into Applications, uh, Development, and you make sure that debugging is checked at the top. Now, on your computer, you're going to load up the SDK. Now I have it in here and then go into tools and you're going to look for this DDMS. Okay, you'll get um, a little thing that says Dalvik Debug Monitor, which is the DDMS. Now here you'll see my phone is connected and you'll actually get a log cat down um, you can do log cats through here you can do a bunch of different things but one of the options you'll notice if you go into device is screen capture now this does not require a rooted phone and if you hit screen capture you'll see it takes a screenshot of the device um, you can just save it if you wanted to and just save it anywhere onto your computer this is the exact same process if you use it on a Mac, Linux, or PC um, you can take a, another screenshot if you wanted to. Alright, and that's the brief tutorial. Okay, new screenshot. Alright, have a good day.